Linda, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here to talk about this important new initiative. It is important. It is an exciting outreach of our D. James Kennedy Center for Christian Statesmanship. Why are we focusing on leadership training this time? Why is the Center for Christian Leadership so needed in our time? Well, throughout the history of this nation, God has raised up men and women to be Christian leaders. Our nation is at a, at a time in its history where, as we read in Isaiah 520, men are calling evil good and good evil. As we move forward, it is our prayer that through the Center for Christian Leadership, God will raise up a new generation of Christian statesmen who will turn our nation around and return it to its historic Christian roots and ensure the continued blessings of liberty for this great nation. You and I would look at the current leadership of Congress or of any Congress in the last 30 years and say, not exactly as effective as we'd like to have seen. Uh, do you think this kind of training might really make a difference? I do indeed, or I wouldn't be involved in it. I'm so excited about it. I really believe that God is going to use this. The more I see, the more I talk to people. Uh, we launched the uh, leadership training at the recent Values Voter Summit in Washington, D.C., and the response was incredible. We had medical doctors, broadcasters, and people from all walks of life expressing an interest in the program. They are willing to redirect the course of their lives because they're so concerned about what's going on in this nation. And that is so encouraging to see that they don't want to just be bystanders. They want to get in there and make a difference. And so because of that, we're encouraged that this training will make an, an incredible difference in our nation. And these are, as you said, these are people from all walks of life. These are people that have some sense of God calling them to this. Uh, this is not a, an undertaking that someone should enter into lightly, is it? It is not, and they understand that. We've, I've talked with them extensively, and they realize that their na the nation is in trouble. It's in dire trouble and they realize that there aren't as many Christian statesmen up there as there should be on the Hill, and that they need to make a difference, and they're willing to give up everything they have, all their careers that they worked for so far in their lives to make a difference in our world. Billy Graham was once asked by a seminary student whether the student said, should I, should I stay in seminary? It's taking so long. There's such a great need out there. Can't I just go out and minister? And, and Dr. Graham said, the time that a woodsman spends in sharpening his ax is not wasted. Do you think this time in preparation, proper preparation before seeking service in public office uh, will make a difference? Indeed, it certainly will. Because if we look at some of the congressional members from the past and current ones as well, we see that certainly many of them have been very effective, but yet sadly many have not. For example, if you look at the 1994 elections, if these individuals had been well prepared, the result might have been completely different. Of that freshman class, there were 73 of them, 70% 70 self-identified as evangelical Christians, having a personal knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, why weren't those ho hopes and dreams realized? Good question. It was because of a lack of preparation. Linda, these are exciting times. Uh, I personally am encouraged to see what God might do with a group of men and women who commit themselves to be serving, for, serving Christ in this incredibly important and yet challenging public policy arena. Thanks so much for being here today. Well, thank you for having me.